Hello, it's me. I know it's been a while since I said I was going to do these videos more often, but a lot of time it's due to time constraints and whatever, and just not being lazy. Uh, I'm over here at the Union Church uh, Cemetery. Um, been here since 1857, it appears. Got the old cellar doors, got to dig that. Uh, I'm up here in either Niles or Berrien Springs or somewhere in the middle, but uh, this video should be a little more watchable, seeing that you don't have to see my face right now, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a little tour of this place. I was up here a couple of years ago, maybe last year. Uh, I don't know which one, but there's a lot of history here. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of old timers, I guess we should say, but not being rude. Uh, it's definitely quiet out here, which I guess is probably good. Um. I'm gonna walk over here to the sign. Put that on the film here. How is everybody doing? That's great. So here's the sign here. I'll let you all read that. If you want, if not, you know. Definitely a uh, registered historic site in the state of Michigan, no, uh, no doubt about that. So, I'm just going to take a little walk around here, see what we can find. I would say see what we can dig it up, but I guess that's a little tasteless. Uh, you know, you can tell these guys have been here a while. You can almost barely even make them out. Of course, I gotta watch where I walk. I'm out here occasionally, but not that often. There's some 1848, 1922. Uh, another thing I want to point out: these are even marked, um, but there's a lot of uh, really well done uh, memorials out here. As we get on the other side of the hill here, but. And just so you all know, I'm not here illegally, okay? The cemetery is open from sunrise to sunset. I already called. I made all my, uh, got all my P's and Q's or whatever, but I told them if you see a giant guy walking around your cemetery, don't be calling the police. Don't be calling anybody. Nobody in, nobody with giant nets, all that stuff. Now, another thing I noticed since I haven't been out here in a while, the ground is, there's a lot of spots where you can tell where the ground rose, probably due to the flooding, I don't know, that we had last year or last fall, whenever it was, uh, the ground is actually still soft, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how soft it is, if I can see this guy down here, I'd almost want to fix it, if I <laughs> knew what I was doing, but... Somebody done fell over out here. Another one ended up against the tree. There's definitely some uh, some remnants, if you will, of what uh, Mother Nature could do if she's so inclined. This one's definitely seen better days. It's really unfortunate. Uh, I'm not in a uh, organization for cemetery restoration or anything like that, but I do delve into some of the uh, societies, uh, internet uh, groups, you know, where you find people that are into the same thing you are, and a lot of the people who are into the paranormal stuff like I am, which I may or may not even advertise that I am, but I am, and uh, a lot of those guys do a lot of cemetery restoration, a lot of it's voluntary, um, I wonder if this is on anybody's list, because I don't know, I'm assuming the city of Niles, or wherever exactly I am, funds this. I know there are people out here, I know I've seen them, the grass was just cut recently. Uh, but besides that, I don't really know. Um, 
whose job it is to come out here and fix these stones. I know I would, like I said, I would do it, but. I can definitely tell there's some old, sturdy monuments. You guys might think I'm weird for coming out here and looking at stuff like this, but this is just, this is where you come for a, for a good piece of history. Definitely shows how far we've come, how long we've been on this planet, all that good stuff, yada yada. I'm not going to get into how we got here and all that stuff, but... Uh, I'm not a I'm not a political person. I'm not a you know, I'm not in all that Scientology and all that other stuff too. I'm just gonna ramble now for a second because I'm trying to find. I know there's a, there's a cross out here. I got my attention last time. I don't exactly remember where it is. I'm hoping you guys can hear me okay. I did an audio test earlier. Uh, just a brief one, but it seemed to be all right to me. I mean. I guess just listen. If you can't understand what I'm saying, I'm sorry. My voice is just deep. That's the way it is. Oh, yeah, here it is. This marker here. I don't even know what to say. It's really sad. But, uh... <sighs> Woo. There's one here, too. Just a flag and a, a shield of some kind. Military people might know, but I don't really know. But Sometimes you gotta use what you got, you know. Yeah, it must be a military. There's more over here than I thought there was. You know, I almost feel like this one is either backwards, or I guess upside down, or... It's been here so long that this, this group of trees actually grew over this poor person's final bed here. Uh, I don't know, I wasn't attempting to do any forms of communication out here. Uh, like I said, that's a thing I do too. We'll talk about that later. Uh, here's another one that's upside down. Backwards, however you want to look at it. But anyway, yeah, so you can see what the flags out here. That's a good thing about coming on the Memorial Day's past and Fourth of July's past. You can definitely see all the uh, the military uh, people out here, the veterans, you know. These are the people who are. Uh, oh, yeah, see World War One, eighteen ninety-eight. 1958. Yeah, these are the people who made your world the way it is. Who made your country the way it is. I don't want to get all patriotic, but, you know, just telling it like it is. Um, the fact that you can get up at 2 in the morning and go get ice cream, that's... These are the people who made it possible. Or, you know, ice cream and pickles or whatever it is. Uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I don't have a boat, really, so I don't know what that means either. I'm going to take another walk. We're just kind of not really doing row by row here. I'm just kind of going wherever I feel like going or wherever I uh, end up, I guess. Well, these are some old ones here, too. Definitely. I'm on the wrong side, but... Yeah, it's really hard to make out anything on these. It looks like 1875. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really bad at this, so I need to get like a piece of paper and scratch over it. But I'm not really going to do all that either. That just seems like an invasion of someone's resting place. Because those of you who know me know that I don't think that this physical realm is all we get. There's no way. Seen too much or heard too much. But like I said, we're going to get into that later. Just because a lot of you people don't know how serious I am about that stuff. But I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think it was that damn sandwich I had on the way here. But 
There's some, definitely some old ones here. Wow. 73 years, 2 months, 22 days. I got all the time on there. That's pretty cool. It's actually even cooler that I was able to read it. Well, I know, I don't know who was from around here, but I know the uh, last name of Olery is up here quite a bit. As a matter of fact, there's a, a cemetery for them, I think, just over in... Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of the county, but it's out this way, towards Clay Township somewhere, but, uh, there was also some Ulleries buried out here, they must have been early settlers, or the first settlers, or who knows, but, some pioneer stuff, the sun finally just went down behind the clouds, or the trees, I should say, or both, but, it's definitely got a little cooler out here. 82 is always better than 85, that's what I always say. Not that I'm... Speak of the devil. Here they are. Not that I'm complaining about the heat, but... Yeah, see, these are all Ulleries here. They go all the way down, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I probably am, I might be, but... I know there's definitely a lot of them out here. But these are all... Ulleries. These are supposed to be laid down, people, just so you know. Uh, these aren't Ulleries, but they're definitely supposed to be like this. Uh, only to prove that, there's a little sign here that says, Do not mow over these tombstones. Because, uh, you would need a new blade at least once every few weeks, I'd imagine. But, there's another interesting one here. I don't know if I want to call it interesting or just unkept, but this is the kind of, uh, thing you kind of see with old, uh, cemeteries like this. You know, I don't think it's so much the lack of caring. I think it's just the lack of seeing or the lack of funding, maybe. But, yeah. The fact that this is even, uh, some of these are even still standing as much as they are is even pretty incredible. There's one right next to a tree. Nothing unusual, I guess, but you can definitely tell this tree's either Decided to split off into three, or something happened there. It's really cool, though. Got more military over here. Hope you guys can see this well enough. And hear my annoying voice well enough. This one is totally broke off, it looks like. Yeah. Broke off and buried. That's what it looks like, anyway. Don't mind my silence, guys. I'm just taking it all in, I guess. Whatever you want to say. The creepy guy that I am. I pretend to be anyway. Eighteen twenty seven. Could you imagine how much different the world would have been then? How much you just scavenge and, you know, use every bit of everything that you have. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be scraping the jars for that, sure, that's for sure. But. I'm not saying living today is any easier. It's definitely more convenient, I would think, but. But. 
I'm still just in it for a minute, as they say. So I'm going on this way and back up. Oh, and then some creeper brought it. Brought a hearse here and just left it. I don't know who the hell would do that, but I guess you know nobody asks questions this way. Dora, his wife. There's another triple tree. It must be the devil's tree. That damn monster energy drink. That's what happens when you water your trees with monster people. Not really, I just made that up, obviously. Oh wow, that was a young one. 29, my mouth right. Of course, as I'm walking into this uh, wooded edge here, I'm kind of regretting bug spray at this moment, but I'll make do. I'm flapping my big old hands around, they'll go away. Here's another one that's got some, definitely got some decorations to it. Sorry if you guys can't read it out, but definitely pretty recent. I say recent, I say at least 30 years ago, but you know. Recent mud book, I guess. There's the uh, edge of the wood line here. Of the military. War veterans. And they set up here too. They got Patterson's. Like just last February, 2017. Susan's hanging on though. So we dispose of our old planters, I guess. Look at that. Trash cans, people. Trash cans. Not complicated. Oh, here's a nice military one I remember seeing before. Um, it's got the guy's, excuse me, military shirt slash, excuse me again, jacket out here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I know, how do I see it? It's camouflage, har har, but, yeah. I read that, but, World War in the Navy, born 1900. 1974 World War II Yeah, see what I mean? These are the people you think These are the people you think I don't mean to get all military on you people They're all, you know Uh 
whatever you want to say. I'm a little lost for words for some reason. But patriotic, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to get all patriotic on y'all, but that doesn't hurt nobody. Oh, well, they're tucked away there. Coming up on another uh, one that I remember from last time. And yes, I do do this every once in a while. You know, not often, not, not once a week or anything like that. But, you know, can I say it's peaceful out here? I mean, look at this. In a world of technology, nothing's happening. Hello, car. Nothing's, you know, happening. This is this is really, <laughs> really one of the few places you can still go. And, and I have people doing this and doing that and annoying you with their phone use and, and their Bluetooth and all that. I'm not against technology, don't get me wrong, but... Sometimes you just gotta take a breather, you know? As I say that, I'm filming with my phone as we speak, but hey, you know, what can I say? It's a, it's definitely a multi-tool. But I got enough cameras at home, I don't need to bring all them things out here. We'll use them for another time, which again, I'll talk about later. Vietnam. Oh, yeah, the bench. The bench has got some text on it. Go ahead and put that in the frame here, too, for a minute. Don't mind the bug on the screen there. Pretty good saying, if you ask me. Even if you didn't, I told you anyway. You can see the cemetery goes past packed this road here. Um, doesn't go too far, but. I'm gonna stick to this side for a second because uh, the lighting, you know. These are some nice uh, monuments here too. I do not wish to put these photos on the internet for all to see, but um, they can always be edited out or removed if need be. Not here to offend. I don't expect the whole world to see this thing anyway, but you know. Not here to offend, just here to share my little field trip, that's all. Which I said I was going to do more often, and damn it, I'm going to do it more often. I'm going to quit being so lazy. But, I do have a sleeping disorder now, so... Kind of makes it a little hard, too, but... Uh... I don't want to really get into that, either. So I won't. There we go. The other one I was talking about earlier. Definitely some, uh, definitely some missed people here, I'd say. This is actually rather cool. Uh, for what it is, anyway. But William Dean Lehman. Marine, Vietnam. Corp Ward of the Purple Heart. If you don't mind, William, sir, I'm gonna pick up your, your decorations here. Maybe you'll rest a little easier now. 
it was definitely some good decorations and lots of uh lots of compassion shown there see this is the kind of thing that i wonder if i should be interfering with but I definitely see the uh, the need for this. So there you go. Whoever it is, must be you. Yep. Loris L. Dewey. Let your flag back, soldier. Thanks. Wow. I would have to say, somebody either ran out of money or they're doing a lot of pre-planning here. I'm going to go with the, the second choice there. It's the foster family. Farmers, I would imagine, dairy farmers. But yeah, so Definitely got some pre-planning going on. Definitely one more grave that we're going to pay attention to and spend a little bit of time with. I know I've been recording for a while here now, but um, definitely uh, it's an attention grabber out here. Um, well, there's a couple. I guess there's another one on the way, but uh, I thought this one was interesting. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it's to look like a manger, maybe. I don't know, but... I almost kind of want to pull the weeds out of this. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should be doing this kind of thing. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and let you. For those of you who want to read that. I want to get those weeds out of there. But... So, I think one more walk around, and I think we'll finish with this one over here. I believe it's for a little girl. It wasn't here very long, but here's the uh, outskirts towards the back. I hate the word outskirts, but I just used it twice. But here's the outback here, some tree lines. No, I don't really remember it being this windy, but someone lost their uh, display here. I don't know whose it is, but let me set it back up. So yeah, this is a hobby of mine. I know. I could be doing worse things, I guess. Some of you may be thinking I could do better things, but... I think I do enough things. And more importantly, I, I do what I want to do, so... Thanks to guys like that, I can do what I want to do. I'm sorry, I don't want to get all patriotic again, but... Just letting the world know I understand and appreciate what they do, or did, or have done. Those guys out there who have yet to do. Oh yeah, you can see all the flags from here, holy... These must be all military over here. Looks like it. You can imagine the mosquitoes are he <laughs> are heavy over there. Not to wuss out on y'all, but oh, you know what? I want to go see that here. Call me a wuss, will you? I look what you made me do. This one's curious. It's small, but it's. The fact that it has a skull on it, I don't know, I guess it is pretty cool, I don't really see many, uh, you know, 
decorations, if you will. Quite like that. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Cubs fan. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep everything in, in my uh, viewfinder here. If I'm not, I apologize. As I'm kind of looking both back and forth. Someone lost some flowers again. There we go. Thank you, David. <laughs> Another farmer. And we're over the tree line again. Guess we'll find out if there's anything wild and hungry that lives in there, huh? Well, they're not all military out here, but definitely most of them are. So usually after Memorial Day, and then just to make sure, come out after the 4th. Memorial Day probably mainly, but... We see all the flags out here. I have no idea whether there's a shepherd's hook there. Somebody must have stuck it in there and forgot about it. And why there's that one there, too. I can't tell. Looks like I might be uh, zooming in a bit on my camera because it kind of looks. Yeah, that's not. It looked like there was somebody out there paying their respects. I didn't want to walk up with them like a like a weirdo, <clears throat> but I don't think that's a person. video is definitely a lot longer than I wanted it to be but you know whoever's interested I appreciate the view whoever's not that's fine too I don't, I'm not doing it for the views this is just something I want to do like to do whatever you want to call it you know but this is the one that I wanted to save for last Because it's, you know, definitely a lot going on here. A lot to take in. Like I said, I think it's a little girl's grave. I don't know if I remember correctly. But, yeah, they got the tree decorated. They got a bench decorated. Someone came out and did, uh, I don't know if you want to call them rock messages or something like that. But you can kind of see... Where they markered up the, wrote what they wanted. And then these rocks sit here. They're not actually fastened, they're not glued. But Shelby Select a Dance. Could have been a nickname. But. <laughs> I think her name may have been Autumn, I don't. It's really kind of hard to tell where her marker really is. There's just so much out here. Um, as you can tell, they're really kind of gone and just made it really immaculate out here. I don't use that word very often. I don't even think I could spell it, but it definitely, 
they definitely got their uh, decorations out here on point, as the kids say. So, yeah. Might be a daughter father thing out here, I'm not even sure, but it's hard to even tell what's going on, but I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Sorry, just taking it all in again. <laughs> Still here, I didn't pass on or nothing. But so yeah, this is a uh, Union Hill Cemetery outside of Niles, Barron Springs area. I'm really not sure where I'm at. All I know is I know how to get here. And uh, sometimes when I take this way up north, which I don't do very often, but there's usually a, uh, a gentleman who sits on the steps of the church. Must be a caretaker or something, but he's a friendly guy. Except I haven't, just haven't seen him to ask him what he can tell me about this, you know, cemetery. I guess I don't know what the hell else there is to say about it, but it's definitely, uh, what was I going to say? It's not a lively group out here, you know, yada yada. Hey, there's somebody's car again. But, yeah. Sorry, I just want to get my car in there. I don't know why. Because I think she looks like she fits in. So there. But, oh, size of that tree. Anyway, guys. Uh, plan on doing another one of these here soon. Uh, I don't know exactly what cemetery yet. Um, <laughs> one thing you realize is when you're in a Midwestern town, they seem to be everywhere. Cemeteries, I mean. So, I don't know why that is. I think it's the change of seasons or whatever it is that, I don't know, something keeps people here, that's for sure. I don't know what I'm even talking about right now, but I'm just kind of wandering around some more. I thought, you thought this video was going to end here, haha. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And no, it's not for editing purposes, I'm not editing anything, I don't think. It's definitely not as windy as it was when I was doing a video like this before. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit of something, something. I'm going to take a little filming break, but I'm going to get back on camera here before it gets too dark. Even though the dark does probably add to effect, but I'm going to talk about the uh, paranormal things I was talking about earlier. I don't come out here looking for that kind of stuff. I'm not one of them, you know, fanboy freaks, you know, but I just come out here for the history and the preservation, if you will, even if there is or isn't any. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just weird like that. Everybody has their hobbies, you know, there's another Olerys. Like I guess I think they go all the way down the hill again, but everybody has their hobbies, and this isn't anything new for me. The filming is, the sharing it with the world is, because that's the kind of world we live in now, where you can just take whatever you 